Illinois runoff day in Atlanta's mayoral race. The battle to become the 60th mayor of what's known as a black mecca is right down to the wire. City Councilwoman Mary Norwood is leading right now in a snarthy endorsement of the city's uh, first black female mayor, Shirley Franklin. But in Sunday's debate, she was trying to explain away some racially coded language from a June meeting with Republicans that were recently made public. Can you provide evidence now? of your specific evidence of massive voter fraud or conspiracy, and if not, will you apologize for that racially charged coded language? The language that I used in a tape that Ms. Bottoms has been spliced and doctored to misrepresent was language that I was concerned about the voters who were approached by ill-intentioned individuals and were encouraged to come back across a jurisdictional line and vote from an address that had existed previously. And yes, I do have those names. And yes, I can produce those. When I was on the Board of Elections, I met with Dr. Gerald Durley. And I said, Dr. Durley, what is so important is that no one lose their right to vote. And we need to educate everyone that if they are encouraged to come across a jurisdictional line, that is illegal. All right, folks, but Councilwoman Keisha Lance Bottoms, who, was endorsed, who has been endorsed by outgoing Mayor Kasim Reed, but also former Mayor Andrew Young, is trying to distance herself from a city contracting corruption probe that Reed uh, is connected to. Now, on Sunday, Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey was in Atlanta campaigning in support of Bottoms. We've had a great mayor in this city now for years, That's and it's right. time for him to pass the baton. We don't want to pass the baton backwards. We want to pass the baton going forward. All right. All right, folks, let's talk about that. Of course, uh, you have a number of folks who have come through Atlanta uh, supporting uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Let's go to Robert Patillo, Window Cepho, Douglas Sloan. Uh, Robert, you are vocal in your support of Mary Norwood. Yeah, and, you know, this is a referendum on Kasim Reed and his uh, his term as mayor. What you have to understand is Mayor Norwood is being supported by not just Mayor Shirley Franklin. Also, the last three city council presidents are all have all lined up behind uh, Mayor Norwood. Because of the way that Kasim Reed has done uh, dealt with gentrification, because of how he's dealt with development, how he's in general treated the African American community, how he's treated poor people in the city, how he's dealt with the issue of homelessness. I've never seen the city bulldoze homeless encampments, close homeless shelters, and then make it illegal to feed homeless people in the streets. This is why you're seeing the support for Mayor Norwood. It's, because it's a referendum on what the Kasim Reed administration has done to voters in the city. And when you blow up uh, housing projects, when you push out low-income uh, citizens, when you put, get rid of low-income housing, you can't then come back and say, well, why are we about to elect a white mayor? You're the person who changed the demographics of the city to make the white mayor possible. Uh, Douglas, one of the issues, again, what you're looking at here is uh, you've seen Atlanta is called the Black Mecca for a reason. I, dis uh, I disagree with that assessment. Uh, disagree with I what assessment? Atlanta being the Black Mecca. I think D.C. Chocolate City is a black market, but go on. Oh, not even close. Oh, I, mean, I, I think. I, I, now you I, can call DC. you can call DC Chocolate okay. City, but I think if you I think if you did a comparative analysis yeah. uh, to uh, those cities in terms of uh, which one has been able to drive at a higher rate of black uh, a black middle class and also black economic development, I mean you you can't even compare the two. I mean, black I mean, no, 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 DC, no, D. In terms, in terms of serious? black middle class, in terms of black rich, I mean, I'm, not, you know, yes. I'm just going off, I'm just going off the top of my head. I know where all the right. black not, rich neighborhoods I, I, are in this I'm, city. I'm not going off the top of my head. And, 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 well, I'm, I'm, and, and, and so, off the top, in the black upper classes, and you're so you're saying. No, I'm you're going off top of my head to side in the head. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that there is no doubt that if you if you want to look at those mayors who were elected in those early 70s, if you want to say Coleman Young in Detroit, Maynard Jackson Atlanta, Mary and Barry in D.C., in terms of which which city has had sustained black economic development and growth and, and also the size Atlanta clearly comes out on top of any of those cities. Now, it's not taking away what has happened in D.C. I'm just saying 
I think is undeniable. And also, when you say Atlanta is the black mecca, that thing also goes beyond just economic development. It also speaks to HBCUs there. It speaks to the culture there in terms of what African Americans have been able to do we there. You have the mecca HBCU. Okay, that's nice, Doug. But go ahead. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, okay. First of all, no, no, no. I, I asked you a question, okay, but, go, but you want to go down this line of the black I, mecca. I just want to ask. You said black mecca. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Everybody BC, watching know exactly what I'm talking about. Wendy, Wendy, go ahead. Wendy, go ahead. One second, one second. Wendy, go ahead. No, how do you no. Wendy, go ahead. Okay, so. Hate you. Wendy, go ahead. So Atlanta, Atlanta is the black mecca. I, I believe it is. However, going back to this race and how it's so poignant, I want to discuss a little bit, you know, what you said. I think it's telling when we often look at women who come after their male predecessors and we say that these women are going to then carry on the legacy of their male predecessors and this oftentimes does happen to women this happened with Hillary Clinton this is happening now as we see this cropping up of sexual allegations and you have individuals who are saying what were these women doing when their male counterparts were you know sexually harassing these people so I don't think that she has to atone for the sins of Kasim Reed no she can say, you know, I align a little bit to him, but in the same token, I am different and I'm going to try a different path. And also, l last comment, and if you're talking about people who are opportunists, because I know that's what you're about to say, you're probably going to say when it's convenient for her, she aligns to him, and when it's not convenient to her, you know, she separates from him. The same thing can be said for Norwood. She is doing the exact same thing. She has voted Republican time and time again. Now, all of a sudden, she wants to say she's a progressive well, because it fits, it fits the agenda. Well, okay. On your no, no, but, no, but here's what, no, Robert, here's the question. Is Mary Norwood a Republican? No. Because, because yeah, I'm sure yeah, Michael yeah. Singleton, who sat on this show, said, Roland, I have known Mary Norwood for years. She is absolutely a Republican, and if so, why is she running away from it? Well, I, I think the issue is in city council, Mary Norwood and Keisha Lance Bottoms have almost identical voting records. No, 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 no. So, I, no, no. I asked you a question. The question is this here. If I had a black Republican sit on this show who said, I have personally known Mary Norwood for years, she is a Republican. Why is Mary Norwood trying to say she's not? If she is, own up to it. Because well, the well, well, no, the, 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 the reason is because she's she's run as an independent all throughout her political career in Atlanta. She voted for Hillary Clinton, was a vocal Hillary, Hillary Clinton supporter. She has almost the exact same voting record as Keisha Lance Bottoms but, in office. But again, so, though, so, hold but, on. But she declares herself an independent. She I, votes I, in I both Republican primaries and for Democratic candidates. That sounds like an independent to me. I will note that we don't have these type of problems in D.C. So, <laughs> I will put that out there. Can you actually you have make a point on the topic, please? <laughs> no, no, this is the topic but, that I'm talking about. But, but, but you're wasting but, but, my time. No, no. But, but we're I'm going and I'm it. about to reclaim some time. <laughs> well, look, go, so, go, can go, you hurry up? Go ahead. Can, go ahead. can Democrats get together? I was surprised to hear about this when I when I first read about it on our, our prep sheet but and everything. It, I was but, like, no, 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 no. You said, can Democrats get together? Let's address also with the issue here that you have. What is it? So, I was talking to some folks down there who said, and they asked the question, and they said, white Democrats are more than 50% who are going for Mary Norwood. Correct. And so, and so what's interesting is, uh, so uh, a, a person there said, so you got white Democrats who are voting white as opposed to uh, who are voting yeah, white, right. as, who are voting for a Republican, and they said, isn't it interesting that when you have an African American and a white and a white woman running, they said they literally are going for the Republican candidate. Mm -hmm. But but let's remember, Kasim Reed literally called himself Batman and Robin with Republican Governor Nathan Deal. He was the official spokesperson for Nathan Deal during the snowpocalypse that happened in Atlanta. He's instituted Republican policies throughout the city. He's instituted tax breaks for large corporations. He put small vendors out of business. He blown up black churches to put a stadium there. He tried to turn Morris Brown at HBCU into a white film studio. So when you're talking about the difference between Republicans and Democrats, if you have a Democrat pushing Republican policies, the voters see right through that. And to your point about Mary, or Keisha Lance Bottoms not being a referendum on Kasim Reed, when she made her announcement, Kasim Reed was there. Kasim Reed's in all the campaign commercials. He's in every video like Puffy and Bad Boy in the 90s. So you can't now run away on Wednesday before the election from Kasim Reed when Kasim Reed was on Rolling Show Friday campaign for you. It you, is an extension. Wendy, um, black women critical in this particular race, and yeah. this race was, it was interesting, it was neck and neck, um, the polls 
prior to it actually bottoms. It may have been up a point or two, mm -hmm. uh, but the endorsement of uh, Shirley Franklin mm -hmm. uh, has been critical. But in, in essence, it flipped the narrative. First of all, it changed also the argument they were making that Mary Norwood uh, is a Republican by having a black female mm -hmm. Democrat who endorses Mary Norwood. The role you think that plays? Final comment before I go to break. I think it plays a big role. You know, even if we look at what just happened in the 2016 election, we saw that black women really carried the ticket when it came to Hillary Clinton. It was like 90 percent, you know, black women voted for her. And I think the same is synonymous here. But it's not just these individuals who are prominent figures in our community who are endorsing Norwood. Let's not also forget that Kamala Harris has also endorsed Keisha Bottoms. And she said, you know, this is someone that we should vote for. So I really think that people have to go out there and make that decision today. Um, I would say vote your conscience, but quite frankly, we voted our conscience in 2016 and we see where that got us for our president. But I think this is important. I think that, you know, Keisha Bottoms is the best candidate here. And I really reject that sentiment that she should have to atone for the sins of Kasim Reed when it wasn't. All right, day. folks, hold tight one second. Days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.